There is a sixty years old man whose head is made of iron, and he can break it with a brick without any pain. He has a brother who has hardened his body by beating it with iron rods that nothing affects his body, their sister's shriek can startle everyone. Hearing her laugh causes people to lose their eardrums. She breaks five glasses every day and practices her throat. Since their childhood, Iron Head and his siblings have been trained in this dangerous kung fu. Their abilities were valued as children, but as they grew older, people lost interest in them. Their skill was no longer useful to them because they no longer have a job or money. Likewise, Iron Head was in debt and concerned about it. People come to their house one day to take a loan and take all the valuables from the house. One of them picks up the Iron Head certificate and says, what is the point of those pointless tasks, and makes fun of them. Iron Head was concerned about his life and now wishes to alter it. Then he moves to find work at the age of 60. While leaving, he notices a few people who are giving money to each other while standing on the road. While looking at the money, he thinks, so much money, and it was a gangster's group. Iron Head decides to move behind them and reach their home while chasing them. They do their job, but Iron Head is thrown out. Their boss pulls him aside and says, stop it, let me hear what uncle has to say. When they learn that Iron Head wants to join their group, they burst out laughing. That this elderly gentleman will join their group. Even Iron Head requests at least a chance to demonstrate his strength, but they ignore him and throw him out that he has returned home. Iron Head was an honest man, and his daughter comes to meet him at night. He doesn't even tell his daughter that he is in trouble and needs money. The next morning, Iron Head sees them again and willingly pulls in front of their car. He has an accident, and they are scared, so they take him to their boss. Now that their boss has seen his passion, he at long last allows him an opportunity. He says you should carry cash from a well-off financial specialist to substantiate yourself who has acquired from us. Presently, Iron Head goes to that financial specialist, who was eating with a man in the cafe. In the meantime, Iron Head approaches him and requests cash. He won't give cash, and in light of the fact that Iron Head spit on his food, the money manager hits his head with a glass bottle out of resentment. Nothing could hurt Iron Head. When he hits 10 to 12 containers on his head, individuals start to revile that money manager. Getting aggravated from this, the finance manager gives up his MasterCard. They are thrilled when Iron Head carries cash to that pack and the manager gives him a 30% commission. At the point when one of the supervisor's friends sees his appreciation for Iron Head, he becomes desirous. He attempted to incite the chief, however he overlooked him, and presently Iron Head is working for them. Likewise, he becomes rich in a month and even he bought all new things for his home. He didn't enlighten his kin or even his lord concerning this occupation since he knows whether they find out, he won't have the option to do these detestable undertakings. He needs to take cash from a man named Bao at some point. He stirs things up around town on his head and asks or cash while alarming him. Bao doesn't have cash and he gives him a modest quantity. Presently he goes to his manager while taking cash and the cash who was envious of him says this is a limited quantity. Our standard is that we take the total sum, presently when they all express sick to him he says I will bring cash in three days or less. Then, at that point, he leaves while saying this yet while getting back around evening time a couple of individuals beat him on the way. They likewise tear the paper of the advance so he cannot bring cash from Bao in three days or less. They were every one of the manager's companions who were jealous of him. The next day, he gets back to Bao and requests cash while contacting his feet. Individuals who were watching him do this started to revile Bao. Bao becomes disturbed by everybody and crushes a block on his head in the style of Iron Head. His head starts to drain because of it, and after seeing this, he cleans blood from his head, thinking how nauseating the errand I'm performing for cash is. While sitting in a far-off vehicle, the chief and his buddy were keeping an eye on Iron Head. Presently the manager suspects him, yet he teaches his men to stand by three days and afterward will see. Iron Head's kin visit his home at night and find, while taking a gander at the new things in his home, how he obtained all of this. Individuals with whom he works loan cash to poor people and afterward request twofold the sum consequently. They say you involved your preparation in some unacceptable work, and presently, Iron Head is humiliated by what his kin have said. He has tossed the cash on the table and proclaimed, I won't do this at this point. Presently, seeing the enormous aggregate, his kin have become covetous, and they have gone along with him in this work, frightening individuals and taking cash from them. They rake in some serious cash in 60 minutes. 
Now that Bao has left, they should accept cash from him. The kin sit at his home and request cash. He lets them know he has no cash, so they encourage him to sell his home. Bao overlooks them, yet Iron Head's sister keeps on talking in an uproarious voice for two days, give us cash. So he becomes disturbed and offers his home to pay them. Because of it, the manager becomes cheerful from them and admonishes his old friends who were thinking him. Presently the supervisor has given task to Iron Head's kin and they were bringing in a great deal of cash while utilizing their abilities and going through an extravagance time on earth. Iron Head's head supervisor comes to meet him on his birthday and lets him know now we will give credit to the understudies. We will prod them on the off chance that we won't get the advance back however, Iron Head wasn't settled on it and can't utter a word in view of the feeling of dread toward his chief. Following a couple of days they were attempting to take the cash back while prodding a young lady and the young lady was constrained as she has no cash to return. Iron Head could do without this since they were requesting that the young lady stay with the chief. He would rather not stall out in this so he continues on a boat with his loved ones. There he meets, Bao's family and his girl says to Iron Head's grandson that you are liable for our this condition and the youngster becomes infuriated hearing this. He tosses a container at that young lady out of frustration however, Iron Head, in the middle between. Today interestingly he felt torment when something hits his head and his head drains also. He was thinking about this the consequence of his detestable errands and gives cash to Bao's mom to buy a house. He tells his manager that he is leaving this work and shockingly, the supervisor concurs with him without any problem. The story was something different that was, the criminal has abducted the grandson of Iron Head. He ends up being angry at this and they arrive at the supervisor's home with weapons. The chief and his mates get terrified to see the weapons in their grasp however erroneously, Iron Head's sister drives a firearm because of it, they find the firearms are phony. That is the reason the chief and his partners catch them and coerce them for making recordings of those young ladies. As they were requesting that the young lady stay with the chief however, Iron Head rejects for this. They point firearm at Iron Head to fire him. In the meantime, the police show up who find everything about this pack. They capture the pack and afterwards set every one of the young ladies free from there. Toward the finish of the film, Iron Head and his kin make a solemn vow to forsake every underhanded undertaking. The film finishes up with a positive change in them.